a cobalt and calcite from the Katanga copper crescent in the Congo. Not at all photogenic, this one. And I'll tell you why. It's, it's the, the, it, it tends to overexpose. It's actually a very mild pink running right through. Just see if I can get a more accurate color, maybe if I move closer to the camera. Almost, uh, 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 once again, little uh, 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 blades of the cobalt and calcite made up most likely of tiny cubes of that. Uh, from a display point of view, as you can see, it's totally overexposing over the top now. I don't know how to fix that. This piece is definitely not photogenic. I think my still pictures may give you a better idea, but we're going to uh, go closely. And then when we go in like this, let's just see. Ah, there we go. That's better. There's a much better indication. That's pretty, pretty accurate indication of these tiny uh, cobalt and calcite crystals sitting on this matrix. Actually a little bit darker than what you're seeing here. So it's a lovely rich pink covering the specimen. All the way from, uh, I think in this case, we may be looking at the Kakanda deposit in the Katanga, a site very well known for cobalt and calcites over the years. Lovely piece. Could be from Kulwezi as well, Mashamba or the likes. That. Lovely.